हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल माय सेल पराग जांबुलकर इन लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव सीन बेसिक्स ऑफ इंटीग्रेशन द वर्ड फाइल वेयर आई हैव एक्सप्लेन ऑल टर्मिनोलॉजीज रिलेटेड टू इंटीग्रेशन आई हैव अपलोडेड इन माय यूडेमी कोर्स यू कैन डाउनलोड इट फ्रॉम दिस रिसोर्सेज इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सी हाउ टू टेस्ट एपीआई बाय यूजिंग पोस्टमैन टूल आल्सो वी विल सी हाउ टू राइट अपेक्स कोड व्हिच कॉल्स दोस एपीआईज नाउ सी इन लास्ट वीडियो आई हैव टोल्ड फ्रॉम वेयर यू कैन गेट एपीआई so see these are the websites which provides api for testing or learning purpose first we will see why do we need postman tool so see here i have listed out some websites now see i am copying this website fakestoreapi.com and here we will paste it okay on this website scroll down this fakestoreapi.com provides api for products card users now see if i click on this products so here you can see this is end point and this is the result this result is in json format again see next is cart right if you click on this cart this is result in json format and this url that we call end point right in last video we have seen this url is called as end point and this is the result which is in json format in last video we have seen there are two types of api one is open api and another is secured api open api doesn't require authentication this open api can be tested on browser directly likewise so see this is api and we have tested it on browser right and this is the result that we got now see we will check another api which is secured let us see so see here we have one website collectapi.com i am copying this this website provide different api here you can see api for whatsapp chat gpt for weather for news chatbot imdb so all these are apis are provided by this website now see we will check this imdb api click on show now see on this website for imdb there are two apis here you can see one is imdb search by name and second is imdb search by id So here on collectapi.com for IMDb there are two APIs. One is IMDb search by name. Second is IMDb search by ID. Now see, we will check first one. IMDb search by name. Click on this. Scroll down. So here you can see this is URL. We will copy this. Now see, just like we have checked this endpoint or API, right? In the same way, here in another tab, I am pasting it. will press enter now see for this we got this message unauthorized see when we have checked fake store api.com slash card so for this api endpoint we got this result right but when we have checked this api here we are getting this message unauthorized what is the reason because this api is secured api here you can see fake store api is open api and IMDb API is secured API. This secured API requires authentication, and that's why we cannot test this API on browser. In this situation, we have to take help of Postman tool. Postman tool can be used to test secured API as well as open API. Now see from where we can download Postman tool. So see, this is official website of Postman tool. We will copy this, or otherwise. in google you can type postman downloads from there also you can get this now see from this link you can download postman tool for your system i have already downloaded postman tool will open it so see now see we have opened postman tool from this drop down we can select any method so see we have get post put page delete so from this we can choose any method here we have to enter end point and other things we can mention here in parameters authorization headers and body now see what we will do we will test this api so see i am copying this and here we will paste it so see this is api end point then we will click on send now see same message we got right unauthorized here you can see in browser we got this message unauthorized same message 
here we got right unauthorized because still we have not provided any authentication right now see from where we can provide so see here we have one tab headers here it is written now click on headers so here we can provide key now see from where we can get key so see again we'll go to this website collect api here you can see authorization and api key but actual key they have not mentioned right now see to get actual api key what we have to do we have to sign in in this website so see we'll click on this sign in you can register yourself on this website or also we can log in by using our google id so see we'll get login by using our google id click on this here we have to mention our google or gmail id click on next here we have to mention our password click on next click on continue okay so we have logged in in this website by using our gmail id now see again we'll search imdb api so see control f imdb okay so here we have right now click on show now see click on this button try free click on this scroll down now see there are different plans right so based on our need we will select our plan now see for us this plan is okay by this plan we can have thousand requests per month right so we can have this plan now click on this subscribe okay so we have subscribed for this api now see we have to get api key right so for that purpose what we have to do here we have one tab account right click on this here we have one link profile click on this now here you can find here it is written api token click on this so here you can see your api token right so this is our api key now we will copy this so see here they have provided one button copy click on this okay so by this we have copied our api key now see we will open our postman tool so see key and value that we have to mention right so this is our api key right? and here we have to mention header name right so from where we can get so see again we will open our imdb api so see we will search imdb click on show scroll down okay so from this also we can copy our api key and what is the name of header authorization right we will copy this so see this is header name and this is value right so see this is key value and this is header name so see header authorization and this is the value right okay now again we will click on send so see previously when we have not provided api key so at that time what output we got unauthorized right now again we will click on send so here you can see we have our output now see what is the status code 200 that means our request is fulfilled right and this is our output so see this api is secured api and that's why we have to provide api key so here we have tested this api we have seen what output we get for this api we have provided this header authorization and also we have provided value and we got this result now see we got this result by postman tool right now what we will do we will write apex code in that apex code we have to mention method we have to mention this endpoint also we have to mention header so we will try to get output by using our apex code now see to write apex code what we will do we will go to developer console okay here in debug we will open anonymous window now see here we will write apex code to access our api right what we will do we will use chat gpt and by that we will generate apex code for the integration so see here i am typing chat gpt in google here we have chat gpt link okay so see in search bar here we will type salesforce apex code for integration like this chat gpt has given a pass code for the integration so here you can see here we can mention endpoint here you can mention method and also here we can mention header right what we will do we will copy this code so see we have this link copy code okay 
Now see, here in developer console, we will paste it. Now see, we don't need this class name and method name. Later on, when we will write code for the LWC component, at that time, we will use class. But now, we are running code in anonymous window, right? So that's why we don't require class name and method, right? So what I am doing, I am removing this. Okay, and these two curly brackets will remove. Now, look at this code. So basically, what we are doing, here, we are creating object of HTTP request class. By using this object, we will mention endpoint, we will mention method, and also we will mention header, right? So see, in Postman, what we have to provide, method name, right? Endpoint, and also we have mentioned header. Same things we are mentioning in Apex code, right? So see, for that, we have method set endpoint. So here, we have to mention our URL. So see, in single code, we will mention our endpoint. So what is our endpoint? This, right? So see, I am copying this. Here, we will paste it, right? Okay. Method get only, right? Okay. Now see, also we have to mention header, right? So see, what we will do? By using set header method, we have to mention header. What is our header name? Authorization, right? So see, we will copy this. Here, we will mention authorization. Here, we have to mention value, right? Okay, so that also we will copy. Control C. And here, we will paste it. Okay, so here, we have mentioned header name, authorization and value. So, for request, we have mentioned endpoint, method, and also we have mentioned header. Now, see, then we are creating object of HTTP class. By this object, we will send request. Here, you can see. By using this HTTP object, we are sending this request. This request means this request. Right? We are getting output in response. This response is an object of HTTP response class. Now, see, if our request code is 200, that means our request is fulfilled. In that situation, we will print output and from where we will get? For that purpose, we have to call this method, get body. We are saving in this string object and then we are printing on the screen. If our status code is not 200, that means we got some error, right? So here in else part, we will print status code and also we will print error. Okay, so everything is done. Now we will click on execute button. Okay, now click on debug only. So again, we got one exception. What is the exception? Unauthorized endpoint. Please check setup security remote site setting. What is the meaning of this? We have mentioned endpoint. We have mentioned method. Also, we have provided API key. But one more thing we have to do. In Salesforce, we have to validate this endpoint. See, again, I'm repeating. What one more thing is remaining? In Salesforce, in Salesforce or we have to validate this endpoint. For that purpose, what we have to do, we have to access remote site settings. So see, here we have logged in in Salesforce developer org. Now see, in quick find, search remote site setting. Remote site settings. Click on this. Here we have to add our endpoint. So see, click on new remote site. Click on this. Okay, now see, remote site name. Suppose IMDB. Like this. Endpoint. So see what is our endpoint is right. So see I am copying this. Here we will paste it. Actually, it needs this domain name only. Okay, no problem. We have copied our complete endpoint. Okay. Active, it is already ticked. Okay, now click on save. So here you can see in remote set setting, our domain name is added. Here you can see this is the domain name, right? So though we have mentioned our complete endpoint. But still, it requires only domain name. Now, see, click on remote site settings. So, here you can see, our domain name is added in remote site setting. Right? Okay. Now, see. Again, we'll run our Apex code. So, see. Again, we'll go to debug, open, execute, anonymous window. Okay. Now, click on execute. Now, click on debug only. Now, here you can see, we got our output. Right? It is in JSON format. Here you can see. Response body, success, true, result, inception, year, IMDB, ID, and even it is showing poster. Now see, this output is not from Salesforce. This output we got from the external system, right? 
So here we are using API and by using that API, we are getting some output from the external system, right? And that is called integration. So here what we have done here in anonymous window, we have written code and by that code, we have accessed that API. In next video, what we will do, whatever the code that we have written in anonymous window, same code will write in one Apex class. And that Apex class method we will call from the LWC component. Okay, now what we will do, we will check another API. So see, we have already tested fixed store API, right? So see, we will access this output by using our Apex code. We will go to anonymous window. Now see, we will change this endpoint like this method will be get only and we don't require api key right so see i am commenting this okay now we will click on execute debug only so see again we got exception unauthorized endpoint right so same thing we have to do in salesforce or in remote site setting we have to register this domain name so see what we will do we will copy this domain name in remote site setting again we'll add one more entry click on new remote site so see site name support fake store api here we'll mention url active is already ticked click on save okay click on remote site settings so see we have added this entry right okay now again we'll check click on debug anonymous window Click on execute, select checkbox debug only. So here you can see, here we got this output, right? ID 1, user ID 1, date 2020. So see, when we have tested on browser, so same output we got, right? ID 1, user ID 1, date 2020. Same output here we got by using Apex code. This Apex code I have provided in this word file, here you can see. I will provide this word file in my Udemy course. You can download it from the resources. In next video, we will see how to do integration in AWC component. Okay, so we will meet in next video. Thank you.